This video is brought to you by Habara. Hey guys, Jay here. So today we're gonna be taking a look at a very interesting, unique type of speaker that promises to break the law of physics. This is the Brain X. And while it may look like a speaker that is typically not covered on this channel, not as impressive, definitely this speaker is an impressive speaker. As it promises, a bass extension down to 27 hertz or so. The specific law of physics that this speaker promises to break is Huffman's Iron Law, which basically states that when you are designing a speaker, you have to sacrifice one of these three parameters, small cabinet size, deep bass, and high sensitivity or output. So essentially, you can have two of the three, but you cannot have all three at the same time. And this speaker right here says, I'm small and have deeper bass than any other wireless speakers of my size, and I'm efficient. And to make matters more interesting, this is a fully portable wireless speaker. Meaning, yes, you have a power brick, but that power brick is only to charge, and you can fully operate this from the internal battery built in. And why this is more interesting is that when it comes to speakers that has battery built in and it's operating off that battery, it means that it's gonna be limited in power. So this is one of the reasons why speakers like DVLA has to have the wall socket plugged in because it needs a lot of power to overcome the you know, not so sensitive nature of the drivers inside those speakers and the small cabinet. So the matter of fact is a speaker like this small with a battery inside, matter of fact, cannot produce a lot of power for the drivers. It cannot overcome the inefficiencies with just brute power like the DVLAs can. So what is going on with the Brain X and how is it claiming to defy the law of physics? And really the highlight and the reason why is because of this driver right here, the RAD driver, Repel and Attract Driver by Brain X. But before we discuss that, a message from the sponsor of today's video. So not surprisingly, on average, an individual spends about 9.5 hours per day on their chair, longer up to 15 hours per day if you work at an office job. That's why it's so vital to have the right chair like the Habara E3 Pro with up to 22 adjustments. This ergonomic chair has one of the most unique lumbar support with adjustable wings that helps to wrap around your back and support you better. Not only that, but this chair can quite literally be adjusted however you want with their unique 4D headrest and 6D armrest. Literally almost every part of the chair is adjustable to your body. Now because it has so many adjustments, it may take a minute for you to get adjusted to all the adjustments that this chair can do but once you get the hang of it i promise you your body will be thanking you now chairs like this can cost a pretty penny let alone have literally one of the best footrests that i've ever seen on a chair i personally love the fact that the habara chairs offer more than the traditional higher end ergonomic chairs for less money and it gets even better because the holiday season is here and the deals are in. So make sure to check the link description below for those holiday deals, including Black Friday. And back to the video now. Now this is a proprietary design by BrainX and we're gonna talk about this driver and why it matters so much into the design of the BrainX. But first, let's talk about the three parameters of the Huffman's Iron Law and see if it actually breaks the law of physics. So first thing is first. How deep does the bass go on the Brain X? Well, the Brain X claims to go down all the way to 27.1 Hertz, which is absolutely insane. Just to put it in perspective, some subwoofers cannot even go down that low. Full-size subwoofers with dedicated, you know, 8 inch, 10 inch, 12 inch drivers sometimes cannot hit that low. So that's a pretty insane claim. And is it true? Well, partially. According to this measurement taken by the third party, rtings.com, they go down to 27.1 Hertz, but that's an F10 value. Meaning while it does hit 27.1 Hertz, that is 10 dB lower than the rest of the frequency. So yes, it does hit 27.1 Hertz. It's just that it is much lower than the rest of the frequency. If we actually look at the F3, the 3 dB point, which is more reasonable, then we get about 50 Hertz, which mind you is still very impressive. 50 Hertz, I don't know a wireless speaker this size that can hit 50 Hertz, 
let alone a lot of bookshelf speakers that's a lot bigger than this wireless speaker hitting 50 hertz at f3 value. So that is still very impressive. And while the F3 value of 50 Hertz sounds a lot less impressive than 27.1 Hertz, you have to also put into account for the fact that when you place this in a room, another sealed enclosure, then what ends up happening is that you get room gain. And therefore, depending on the surface, because it's also, also a down firing woofer, depending on what surface you put it on, you're gonna be getting below 50 Hertz for sure. So in the real world, you're gonna get a lot more bass than what this graph shows. In fact, it is quite unbelievable. Not as unbelievable as 27.1 Hertz, but still very respectable. And get this, what's even more unbelievable is that this driver is using only one third, the subwoofer driver here is only using one third of the cabinet you see here. The rest of the cabinet is used for the rest of the drivers and the electronics inside. So that's absolutely insane. And it's still hitting 50 Hertz at F3. So how do they do it? If the matter of the fact is that the speaker itself is very small and it has still very deep, unbelievably deep bass extension for its size, then it can mean only one thing. It means that it is inefficient, meaning the output volume suffers. It can't get loud. But the Brain X does get loud enough, clocking in just under 100 dB SPL. So it gets plenty loud. And during my testing, I mean, it was plenty, plenty loud. Which means that kind of like the DVLA, it must be using brute force, a lot of power. And especially in a smaller enclosure, you're gonna need a lot more power to overcome this inefficiency like the DVLA, for example. And this speaker is smaller than the DVLA, so it must require like 1,000, 2,000 watts. Except, like I said in the beginning of this video, this speaker is battery powered and therefore it doesn't have the luxury to provide that brutal amount of force. And in fact, the RAD driver itself uses anywhere from five to 50 watts to produce these bass notes inside the speaker with a total combined watts for the rest of the speakers hitting 200 watts. So it may really look like this speaker breaks the law of physics but it doesn't. We all know that you can't really break the law of physics. But the reason all comes down to this driver right here, the RAD driver, and the very clever engineering that the Brain X team has done that makes it seem like it breaks the law of physics by having a small enclosure, having deep bass extension, while having great output and sound pressure. So what's really so special about this driver other than its shape and its very cool carbon fiber look? Well. Yes, firstly, the shape matters quite a bit. But let's go over the technical design in the voice coil first, because this is what makes a lot of this clever engineering happen. So they removed some of the voice coil and added a permanent magnet that actually helps to fight the internal resonance. You see, they figured out, and it's a wide known fact, that a lot of subwoofers are battling, the driver itself is battling, battling with the internal pressure of the cabinet. And that eats into a lot of the power required to drive these subwoofers. So instead, they added a permanent magnet that basically does all the work of compression and expansion by canceling the internal air pressure forces. And by canceling the internal forces this way with the driver's permanent magnet, well, it allows the cabinet size to be 10 times smaller to create the same bass note, which in turn, also reduces the power required by the voice coil by a factor of 10 as well. And this oval shape of this driver right here also plays into effect. While it may look like a pretty small driver, this takes up the entire bottom portion of this wireless speaker and it is equivalent to about an eight inch woofer, which honestly must be the biggest driver I've seen in a, such a small enclosure. So while this tiny little speaker may look like it's defying the law of physics, it's really not. It's addressing the efficiency just in a different way. So let me put it in very plain terms. It's not that this speaker just became magically more efficient, it's that the driver wastes less power fighting the small enclosure. So again, it doesn't really break the law of physics, but it gets fairly close by using clever engineering instead of just brute power behind the inefficiencies. And while I'm demystifying the fact that the speaker really doesn't break the law of physics, 
it might as well do for a lot of people. And it's easy to see why people think so because it accomplishes three things that a lot of speakers cannot do, which is a small size, deep bass extension in a small size form factor with respectable output level that gets plenty loud enough. What more would you want? It's just a matter of fact that it doesn't do that by breaking the law of physics. It just does that with clever, very clever engineering. In fact, BrainX holds eight patents from material science, driver technology, to resonance control. It's really tightly optimized to a point where whether the speaker really breaks any law of physics or not, it really did achieve something many of its competitors failed to. A speaker in a small form factor that sounds great with a kick-ass bass without using lots of power, and therefore truly portable. And from my experience of using BrainX myself for the last few weeks, I have to say I recommend this product highly. And if you're an audiophile or someone that really cares about the sound quality, then I think this is the best wireless portable loudspeaker that you can get for $500. And of course, the holiday season is here, so make sure to check their website for any deals ahead. But talking about audiophiles, well, you could actually have this in stereo. You can get two of these and have a left and right channel. In fact, you can actually pair up to eight of these on party mode. While I don't think a lot of audiophiles will do that, that's still very cool. So again, having two of these set up in my room, playing left and right, will be one of my goals in the future by getting one more of these. And of course, because this is a wireless speaker, you get all the connections like AirPlay, Spotify, and so on. And it also comes with a very smart app that also allows you to cater the sound quality to your preference through its EQ functionality. So if you want, you can add a little bit of that bass boost if you feel like it, or decrease the bass if it's a little too much for the space you're in. But as you saw with the rtings.com's third-party measurement, it's pretty textbook straight out of the box, and it should sound very good much better than a lot of wireless speakers out there. And personally, I don't review a lot of wireless speakers, but from the wireless speakers that I've had the pleasure of reviewing, including from LG, Anchor, and so on, I think this speaker is really one of the best speakers I've heard that's truly wireless for $500, that really has sub bass extension and not just a you know bass boost on the 100 Hertz or you know something like that to mimic a strong bass presence. And I will say the mid-range and the high frequency is one of the most natural I've heard in a wireless speaker. It doesn't have the typical dips or you know boost in certain frequencies that make the sound a little bit weird, or it doesn't try to impress with all these details, but rather it is pretty balanced. I mean, as you saw on the measurements by artings.com, it is a pretty balanced speaker all across, pretty textbook actually, and even a lot of bookshelves that cost way more fails to have this kind of frequency response and this kind of balance. So, you know, a type of sound like this, if I had it in a bookshelf speaker, I'll also call that a win. So you're getting a very small compact wireless speaker that also has a sound quality equivalent to something like a, you know, high-end audiophile bookshelf speaker that has this kind of performance and balance. So again, that's to say this speaker isn't gonna replace your high-end speakers or my stereo setup. Not gonna be happening. I love my stereo setup, but it's definitely going to be sounding much better than a lot of the wireless speakers out there because of the proper and clever engineering behind BrainX. So I highly recommend this product. I think it's a very great wireless speaker, probably the best one I've seen just yet. And so this makes me think, what happens if we apply this kind of technology? And I know this technology is kind of limited to a small form factor and is optimized for a small form factor. But what if BrainX makes a bigger loudspeaker with this type of clever engineering? I think that might be the future when it comes to hi-fi technology and something that I will be definitely looking forward to if it ever happens. So that's pretty much it from me. I hope this video was enjoyable. And if it was, please click that subscribe button and like this video. It really helps this channel and I will be very thankful. So thank you very much and I'll see you guys on my next one. Until next time.